so the Viking Age is it, it has this distinct symbolism that connects everything right so it's you have uh, like the circle it's not it's not a thinking in a it's not linear thinking um, it's not black and white um, it's um, and, and there are many truths uh, in, you know many many gods many truths many, instead of one god and one truth for all uh, which would be the Abrahamic religions so you have that and you also have <coughs> A very strong focus on family and uh, your um, extended family, your clan, clan, <laughs> uh, your tribe. Um, trying to use the right words here, but um, which we don't really have. You only see it in, um, you know, when, when your football team or soccer team, uh, and, and then your the supporters. They're, they're all a big tribe. So it's, it's a bit of that as well. Um, you have some who are very dogmatic and they try to do everything right. I think that's a little bit silly because we can't know for sure what's correct, what's not correct. And, and, but that's a different discussion. Um, so we have the, those dogmatic people. Um, and you have the more intelligent way to go about uh, about it, which is, it's a private matter, and it's a, um, it's more, it's more a, uh, it's more about the symbols, and how the symbols can give you a better understanding of life, death, nature, and uh, how people uh, function, <laughs> you know. Now we, we have what I like to call actually modern Viking culture, which is our modern interpretation. And, um, and it does, to me, you know, that's, it doesn't have to be historically correct. I don't even see a point in trying to make it historically correct because it's part of our modern culture now. 